για την κρισιμότητα των ενδιάμεσων εκλογών στι ΗΠΑ, μίλησε στον Σκάι ο ελληνοαμερικανό πολιτικό αναλυτή Τζον Σιτιλίδη. Τύχον απώλεια τη πλειοψηφία στη Γερουσία από του Δημοκρατικού, μπορεί να σημαίνει και απομάκρυνση του Μπομ Μενέντε από την Προεδρία τη Επιτροπή Εξωτερικών Σχέσεων, κάτι που προφανώ δεν ευνοεί την Ελλάδα. For much of U.S. history, party in power almost always loses the power on congressional seats in the midterms. Are we going to see history repeating itself? Right now, there's probably a 90% chance of the House of Representatives becoming Republican in January. But what's more astonishing is probably a 70% chance that the Senate will go Republican, which was not predicted as recently as a month to a month and a half ago. We've known for the better part of the last year to year and a half that the House would likely flip. But there's been a massive red wave, as we say in, in the United States, in the last several weeks of October. And so we'll see a contest between the White House and the president looking to use executive orders to advance his agenda and Republicans that not only will be competing with the president in the public debate space, but they also control the budget now or two years in. Mm -hmm. The outcome of the midterms could also be crucial for Hellenic issues, as a number of uh, Greek Americans are up for election. Miliraki, Sarbanis, Chris Papas, what are the polls showing for them? I think for the most part, those incumbents will likely retain their seats. I'm not aware of any significant challenge to the Greek American lawmakers. What will be interesting, of course, is what happens if Mehmet Az wins the Senate seat in Pennsylvania, and then we have an individual who is a dual national. He is still a Turkish citizen. He served in the Turkish military. He voted in the 2018 Turkish elections. And there will be an issue about whether or not he will have access to intelligence unless he renounces his Turkish citizenship, as he says he will do if he becomes senator from Pennsylvania. So I think Athens would be very wise to watch and, and hear what Dr. Oz does and says if he's elected to the Senate. Senator Menendez exerts a powerful influence over U.S. foreign policy. If Democrats lose Senate, and consequently he is not chairman of the Senate's committee, does this pave the way for the sale of F-16 fighter jets to Turkey? Senator Menendez has been adamant that uh, there be no F-16 sales to Turkey, obviously, no upgrades to Viper level conditions, but also to see to it that if any weaponry is made available to Turkey, that it not be used for any unlawful overflights of Greek territory or used in any way to threaten Greece or Cyprus. Now, those amendments were not listed in the National Defense Authorization Act for 2023, unfortunately, so Greece still remains somewhat exposed. But uh, the new chairman of the committee, if the Senate goes Republican, will be Senator James Reich of Idaho. He's also a very strong supporter of the U.S.-Greece relationship. And I think, look, we have really bipartisan support for this policy now. 